Hey there, YouTubers. I have a Dell XPS 8700 PC running Windows 10. Recently, my PC clock is not syncing time correctly. Every hour, it will only increment just a few minutes. Also, when I press and hold the key on my keyboard, it does not repeat automatically. I suspect that likely my five-year-old CMOS battery is going out, so let's go have a look. I'm going to remove the uh, uh, cover on this, so give me one second here. I'm going to lay it down uh, without crashing my hard drive here. Okay, so I laid it down to, on the right side. The reason is you want to take off the cover on the left side here, okay? So to do this, uh, first thing you want to do is obviously, let's unplug the power. Uh, notice the uh, little orange light inside, okay? Even when I unplug, I notice that light still stays on. So don't trust that all the electricity has been discharged. But when I unplug the, uh, the I think some power is coming through the video card. So when I unplug the, uh, the video card here, I have two monitor, dual monitor system. So when I unplug that, okay, uh, the orange light is still there. So now I'm gonna unplug the, uh, the DVI monitor cable and there the light went away so uh, obviously it's it's uh, this cable video cable is feeding some power uh, to the motherboard but I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect everything here uh, because I suspect some dust uh, inside the case and you know I don't open this too often so I might as well uh, clean out all the dust buildup so to do this, uh, all you have to do is, let me zoom out so you can see, okay? There's only one screw here. Uh, let me see. Okay, and that wasn't so tight. It's just that I'm trying to hold the camera with my hand. So just gonna unscrew this, and it comes out like this, okay? Uh, save it. And then there's like this handle here, okay? So you're gonna pull on this handle out straight. Okay, so you heard that popping and you see this gap here. So you gotta continue to slide out a little bit and then lift up this side. Okay, lift it up. Okay, so let's see where, ah, right there. So in my case, let me zoom out. It's right in between the graphic card and the, the CPU fan. Uh, I haven't touched anything directly. So actually at this point, you probably want to touch something that's metal uh, to release any you know, static that you have built up. So I've done this a while ago. So if you look here, uh, let me uh, get the right angle here. If you look here, there's a little tab here, right? Okay, so you wanna push this tab back away from the battery, and then you should be able to uh, pop out the battery. Let me see if I can do this with one hand here. Ah, there, you saw it pop out. It actually self-popped itself when I released the, uh, the little tab. Okay, so now let me see how I can, uh, well, there's not enough room for me to go grab this. So I am going to use a little tape here. And see if I can get that out. Okay, there we go. So I got it out. Okay, so this is CR2032 and it's a, a three volt battery. Actually, this is the replacement. Let me show you 
what I just took out. Uh, it doesn't matter what brand, this happens to be uh, Panasonic. It's a CR2032 uh, 3 volt battery. So to put this in, uh, you gotta put the, uh, the label side up, okay? Not this way, the label side up. And you gotta just, just lay it on that hole on that slot okay actually you gotta lay it flat um, okay what I found is you gotta lay this side first and not this side okay so that it goes in like that and then you just gotta gently push it down don't force it Oh, you heard the pop, right? So now it's snapped in. Okay, so that's all it takes. However, I don't know if you can see well, but there's some spider webs or something uh, building up. And the fan here has built up some dust. So I'm going to actually go clean this up uh, before I put the uh, cover back on. some of it it was too cold outside to stay out there too long so I'm gonna lay it down uh, about at this point here see I got the back end lifted I'm gonna lay it down uh, the only thing you have to watch out for is uh, there's a slot here you want to get it in so that the, the top this ring shape actually sticks out uh, in that slot and you want to just push it in so this gap uh, closes. Okay, so you're pushing inward. And then after that, just put the uh, single screw back in. After you've disconnected all the cables and powered on your PC, don't be alarmed if you see this message on boot. Basically, BIOS settings were lost when you removed the battery and PC automatically loaded the default settings. This is kind of like when you disconnect the battery in your car and you lose some settings. So at this point, just follow the instruction, which in my case, I'm going to press F1 key to continue the boot. At this point, your screen will go blank for a few seconds and then it'll boot normally. There, now all should be back to normal. This actually fixed my clock drifting and keyboard not repeating problems. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys and see you guys next time.